Hi guys, Johnny Good here for Real Home Studio. Today I am taking a look at Ample Guitar Martin from the guys Ample Sounds. Okay, so I'm just going to dive straight in and look at a couple of the sections which have really, really impressed me. And then a little bit later in the review, just look at all the features that are available within this plugin. Uh, so just flipping over to the riffer section, and I've just selected a, a default from the uh, abundance of presets which are available within this plugin. Uh, now, if you look a bit lower down on this preset sound uh, within the MIDI editing section, you can see that it's got a song preloaded entitled Sunset. So let's just go ahead and have a listen to that off the bat. I think you'll agree that sounds absolutely incredible. I mean, it's a beautiful sounding guitar, the Martin Dreadnought, um, but it also sounds so well recorded and the effects sound really, really professional on it too. Now, of course, if you wanted to edit uh, this riff within the editor, you can uh, crack on with a lot of these familiar edit icons. Um, you can uh, get cracking and, and write whatever indeed riff you want to on this MIDI editing uh, screen. But what I really like is this dice function here. And if you roll the dice, it's going to give you a completely new random generated riff, which I think is really fantastic for uh, songwriters uh, and for composers alike indeed to get new and fresh ideas. So let's just have a listen to what it's generated. <laughs> And you can just literally keep going until you come across something which floats your boat. And when inspiration strikes, you can move on and carry on building up your song. I think it's a really, really clever little function and it's a really good aid to get you moving and inspired when you're composing and songwriting. Okay, let's move on and take a look at the strummer section. And here we are now onto the strummer section. Now, I must say, as a guitarist of about 30 odd years, uh, I had my concerns about how Ample Sounds were going to lay this out and make it feel like I was strumming guitar and how to get this across with ease. But I must say, what they've done has been very, very successful. It's very intuitive. Now, it very much works like a guitar and feels quite relatable as a guitarist in that the left hand on the controller is looking after the left hand of the guitar and the right hand is respectively looking after the rhythm or the picking. Uh, so that's very much the case when you transfer that onto the uh, piano keyboard itself. So, for example, if we look in this box here where you can see the chords, uh, if I play a single note C on my uh, keyboard, it generates those guitarists among you will recognize that shape on the tab. If you don't play, you will see it highlighting that I'm playing a C major. Indeed, now I play a single note G in my left hand and we see the G chord shape and a G major. Um, we go through playing an A, that's um, programmed into be an A minor, and then we play an F and we're going to get our respective F major. On the right hand side then we've got our strum pattern already preloaded. Now there is a whole host of presets available of course in Ample Sounds um, that are genre specific that we can go through and program in or indeed we can just program in our own uh, uh, strum pattern itself and lots and lots of editable functions as well from these various knobs dotted around on this control panel. Let's just crack on and take a listen to what this sounds like. So in the right hand now uh, I can select to either play a single strum or I can indeed play through a number of single notes picking through the uh, strings themselves or play this strum pattern. Now, of course, what I want to do is play through the strum pattern with the right hand, but also with the left hand, start moving the chord shapes. Mm -hmm. 
Now, the wide variety of different playing techniques is what makes Ample Guitar Martin sound so realistic and be so useful. So let's say now we want to strum a uh, style which is a lot more subdued. We might want to dial in a bit of palm muting. We're going to play the same pattern, but now we've got a bit of palm muting and we're going to play a much more low key section of the song. So let's bring in our C chord and start strumming our pattern. A really nice touch from Ample Guitar Martin is also the chord transition sounds along the strings uh, from C to G to A minor to F. And it's touches like that that make Ample Guitar Martin so realistic. There is also a very handy Guitar Tab player menu which allows for importing Guitar Tab file formats. Now you may have heard already with this preset that there's quite a lot of effects already put on the sound and here we are in the effects section uh, which comes with a compressor, uh, an EQ, an echo delay and a reverb function. So let's move down from the compressor into the EQ and we can see what this preset has which is a high pass filter and a little bit of a dip around 200 hertz and we can also see the echo delay doing its magic. Now we might choose to bypass uh, the echo delay, so let's turn that off. And that leaves us with a, a hefty bit of reverb from a large hall, so say we want to make that a bit smaller. Or indeed switch it off and just have the dry sound. And here we are back in the main section. Okay, so I've left the delay off and left us with a little bit of reverb and this is how we've got our guitar sounding at the moment. Now on this left hand side, we've got various key switches which are gonna give us different playing styles. So for example, let's have a listen to that same uh, riff being played by palm mute. Now, of course, a palm mute style really helps add to the realism. I think these natural harmonics sound great too. And along with the natural harmonics and the palm muting, there's also a selection of different playing styles and techniques, including slide in and out, legato slide, hammer on and pull off, and slide guitar. You also get full access to edit the mics used to record the guitar from the middle mic volume, the side mic volume and the master volume also itself as well as pan and double the guitar to give it extra width. You also get this very handy capo function and this selection of faders along here to help you dial or reduce realistic sounds. And finally the buttons on the far right help you to access different playing modes quickly and effectively. To sum up, Ample Guitar Martin offers jaw-dropping sounds and a whole host of features useful for non-guitarists and guitarists alike. The riffer function stood out for me as something which I can certainly see myself using in the future, but for producers which don't play guitar have access to guitarists, or indeed for guitarists that just are struggling to get a good sound or want a professional sound in their recordings, Ample Guitar Martin is an excellent plug-in to try out. My name is Johnny Good for Real Home Studio. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe. Make sure you have yourself a great day.